Thank you, Janice. Uh, it is Christmas Eve and I am not with my family. I am, however, in a field with a bunch of strangers who all claim they've seen Santa Claus. Well, I was walking with my boyfriend, don't you know? His name is Al. Al Foyo, the comedian. Well, the wife's boyfriend was over, so I was uh, I was in the doghouse. <laughs> I was sleeping outside. I was outside of my porch smoking a bogan. I look up in the sky and I see some lights and I said, I said, honey, turn on the TV. They gonna hit the Pentagon. He's a very good comedian. He actually just got canceled on the line for making some nasty remarks about women. He's great. Now while he was in my house, you know, scourging around, dropping off presents and such, I go up to his little else helper and I say, you know, hey, hey, we're on the same team here, you know? We're both trying to keep the Christ at Christmas. And I look up to the sky and I just see this absolutely beautiful sight. It's like, it's like all my childhood dreams coming true. Santa was drinking and driving! Yeah, I know that milk and cookie stuff either. Hard stuff! Yeah, and we're having a good conversation. We're talking back and forth, agreeing and such. And then the big guy comes in, and he starts yelling at me. Yeah, and he's seen some stuff that, uh, oh, Lord Almighty, I don't want to repeat. Oh, there's a Santa in these waters. But me and Al were in an argument at this time. He cheated on me last week, but I was throwing his clothes out the window, and I look up, and what do my wondering eyes do appear? But a goddamn sleigh in the sky! Every year, some of my wine goes missing from my cabinet, and I thought it was my wife back at it, but no, it was Santa! Boozing up! Well, I went up to him and I said, Hey, you're Chris Kringle. And he said, Well, yes, I am, but sir, you gotta wear pants for a campground. Oh, I said, oh, I know, I know. Yeah, I don't know about what this is, but I just came from this kid's house and there were booby traps everywhere. And I look up at this guy and I said, Santa, what are you doing? Two children go into Santa Say, Three children come out. Where'd the last one come from? It was Christmas magic. Hi, Chiefy. And I go, buddy, you know, we were having a nice conversation here. And then you come in like a, like a hot helicopter and you mess everything up. You know, to be honest, you know, I wasn't too happy with my gifts last year. This whole thing has been just a big misunderstanding. Well, and he said I was on the naughty list. And I said, oh, Chris, you know, I, I need a bag of coal like I need a hole in the head. I said, Abuso, it would appear that we've just come across Chris Kingle delivering presents in his magical sleigh. What a sight that is. If, if you want my honest analysis of the whole thing, you know, I think it was Joe Biden. I drive a Lincoln Navigator. What, what if Santa's drunk and he hits that? Or my daughter? We were hunting geese, Canadian geese, and we was actually waiting to shoot because my buddy brought sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, and we was eating them. And he uh, looks up in the sky and he says, look up there. And I said, what fur? And he said, I don't know, there's something flat. And I said, is they going for the Pentagon again? And he says, I don't know, just look. So I look up in the sky and I go, oh, that's Santa Claus. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what we were there to steal, but you could not walk an inch without tripping on something. It was crazy. He didn't even respond. He just threw a present down at me and hit me right in the head and went right off it. And I said, you threw a present at me? Yaharaba! Yaharaba for throwing that present at me? The Santa? Now my high definition camera was all the way inside and the door was locked to my own house. But thankfully, I did have my smartphone on me. Now I'm not too great with the camera app, but I was able to snap a pic. This was the photo. And I said, Abuzo, my friend. It looks like I'm getting cold this year. Cause I've been naughty. As a hound! No! And I was a fan of this conversation right here. Not so much this one. Not so much this one. Ten children get on the naughty list. But only the poor ones get cold. Aye, chiefy. You know, you break into houses and you think dogs are gonna be the worst thing you're gonna run into. But apparently it was a human child. Now I wasn't there when Newton saw the apple fall from the tree, but you know, I've been around. I worked in IT for 30 years. I know a thing or two in my life. And uh, and I said, Chris, you know, if I'm being completely honest with you here, these reindeer, you know, they're well and nice and pretty, but uh, you know, they're, they're about as useful as uh, you know what. Well, we have a very detailed and intricate method for deciding what kids get what gifts um, based on parental income. My buddy died. He's dead. And where do you think he's off to next? Well, someone said the Pentagon. Well, there you have it, folks. The spirit of Christmas is alive and well in this cold field. And Santa continues to deliver. <laughs> and best of all, I've just received word that my family ate without me, so I can't wait to eat cold leftovers. Back to you, Janice.